everyone, this is Ellie May with Silhouette Secrets and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Silhouette Sketch Pens and using a sketch design. We're also going to look at uh, ske sketch font and see how that looks. And then we're going to take a design that was free with the Cameo machine and I'm going to show you how to change that into a sketch. So we're just going to go up here and we're going to start on a new design tab. I'm going to make sure that my page setup is correct so I have a piece of letter size cardstock set to the portrait and that's how I have it lined up on my mat. I'm going to go in here to my library and I'm going to choose this daffodil sketch. Now this is a design I have purchased in the Silhouette store. So I'm just going to move that up to the top left corner of my mat and then I'm going to go ahead and go here to the send tab in the top right. When I do, you're going to see that bold red cut lines show up. So right now, if I were to send it, it would think that I have my sketch pen in tool two and it would go ahead and use, or in tool one, and it would go ahead and do it in tool one. I need to tell it not to. So I'm going to select this design. It's going to give me my selection box around the design. I'm going to tell it to no sketch. So I have turned off tool one. Now I'm going to go down here to tool two and I'm going to choose sketch. So I'm telling the machine that it's going to sketch with the sketch pen that I put in tool two. So I make sure my material is correct and I have a piece of cardstock. I have it changed to the action of sketch. So it's chosen my sketch pen. <clears throat> so right now I'm ready to send this to my machine. So I'm going to switch it over to my camera and I am using a silhouette sketch pen today. I like to keep the cap on it until I'm ready to use it. And then I'm going to put that into my machine into tool two and lock it in place. Then I'm going to load my mat and we are ready to go. I'm going to click send on my software and then it's going to sketch out that design for me. It sounds a little bit jumpy, but that's perfectly normal. It's just processing the data from my computer. My computer may have too many programs open on it, so it creates a little bit of lag, so I'm not too worried about that. My design has finished, and it's going to allow me to unload it here. <clears throat> so as you can see, it has sketched it in the top left corner of my mat. And it's exactly how I have it on my design screen. So I'm going to load this back in here so we can do a couple more designs. I'm going to switch you over. And then I'm going to leave this on my design mat because I'm using the same piece of paper, but I need to make sure to tell it to not sketch so it won't sketch it the next time. So I need to make sure my design is still selected and then choose no sketch. And then the cut lines are going to disappear. <clears throat> so it's still on my mat so I can place things around it. So next we're going to go over here to the text styles, your text tool on the left, and I'm just going to type out silhouette secrets. I'm going to select it and then click over here on my text style panel 
And we're going to choose a sketch font that I've purchased in the Silhouette store. So you can see there, I have one sketch font. Thin fonts work the best. Your sketch pen is going to do exactly the same thing as your blade would do. So if it's a thin font and it would cut that really thin, it's going to sketch it with that same motion. So I'm just going to do show you two different ones. And there's another one. So then we're going to go over back up here to our send tab. We're going to see that these both come in as blue lines. And so tool two is selected and it's going to send those that way. Now I have my mat lined up and loaded. So I'm just going to click on send here and switch you over so you can see that. We've turned the flower off, so it's not going to draw that flower again, but it's going to do the two different fonts that we have selected. From there, it has done what I have told it to do on the screen. So we will unload it here, and you will be able to see that it has written out in my first font, which isn't too bad of a font. That would be good for lettering onto an envelope or something. With the second one, you can see that there are spaces in there. So if we go back and look at our design, you're going to see that it has drawn, I'll get you zoomed back in here, it has drawn that exactly the way that it shows on the screen. So if we go back to our design tab and we were to zoom in here, you're going to see that it sketched all the way around in that letter. So it it did not meet in the center. If you had a thicker pen, then it would probably wouldn't show as much. But it did exactly what we asked it to on the screen. So each font is going to have a little bit different look to it. And then when you get into using regular fonts, if they are a lot bolder, you can try to do some offsetting of that font. And I can show you an example of that at the end. Um, it just takes quite a bit to fill that font in. So the next thing I'm going to show you is how you can take a design that's in your library. I'm going to go back to my library. I'm going to click over here on my recent downloads, which are the free downloads that I got with my machine. I have several machines, so I have many designs. And we're going to just click on this anchor. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull this in here. I can pull off the color first off. And I'm going to pull this, let's just put it up here. So then I can zoom in here a little bit and show you the anchor. Now, if we were to send this to Sketch, just as it is right now, we can go over here to our Send tab. First, it's going to tell us that it, right now this is set up as Tool 1. So we're going to tell that to no Sketch. And we don't want it to Sketch with Tool 1. So need to select my object 
and no sketch. And then those red lines will disappear. <clears throat> I also noticed that these two are still selected, so we're going to make sure to change them to no sketch as well. They're just on my page right now, just so I can get a bearing of where everything's at. So now I need to change this anchor to sketch. And it'll change to the blue bold cut lines. We can send it exactly like this to sketch. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna make two designs. So we'll send this just like it is with the cut lines. We'll move it down here. And then let's make a duplicate of it. And I'm gonna play with it a little bit. So I'm gonna go over here on the right hand side to my sketch tab panel. And we can change the line style of how it would sketch. So we, when we look at it on the screen, we'll be able to see that line style change. So we can see here, it's a little bit bolder. Here's a little bit messier. There's a lot more messier. And the more detail you get in your image, the longer it's gonna take to sketch out. So there's a little rough sketch. Or you have the basic sketch lines. You can also change it to something funky like a doodle. Let's just go with this one. So it gives us two different styles of images. And we'll see how long this one takes to sketch out. So we're gonna go back up here to our send tab. And we're gonna make sure that these both are bold blue lines so that they're both gonna sketch. And we're gonna just click on send again. I already have my mat loaded again. And let's see how long this one takes to sketch out. So you can see right now it is sketching just the basic design that we had with a single line. Now it is drawing the sketch design that we have and you can see it's going over each individual detail with a lot more lines. The more detailed your sketch, the more data that you're processing and the longer it's gonna to take to sketch out. Same thing with a normal design when you're cutting it, the more detailed your design is, the longer it's gonna to take to cut out. And that's why you're seeing there is a little bit of lag with between my computer and the different programs I'm running on it at the same time. Again, that doesn't concern me. I know exactly what the issue is, so the Cameo is running perfectly normal. There's just a lot of data being sent over there at the one time. Makes it sound awfully funny though. Now what we can do is we can switch back over to our software and if your computer will allow you to, you can actually go back in and design. You can see right down here in the Cameo area that my machine gives me a general countdown. It's not completely accurate. So far today it hasn't been accurate at all, but it does give me a general idea that this design still has over three minutes to go. And you can hear in the background that my Cameo did speed up again. So it for some reason, when I click back on the um, program, the software program, it seems to pick that up versus when I'm on my design presentation camera. Not everybody's computer is going to do the exact same thing as mine just did. So, but you can go back in here and you can go back to the design tab and be working on something while your Cameo machine is cutting or sketching. Uh, it really depends on the processing speed of your computer on how much you'll be able to do. So we can go in here and choose another design from my library and see how that would come in. So let's just choose this balloon. We'll double click on it. Now you can see that 
the balloon and the <clears throat> string are two different pieces, so we'll have to do some, some modifying to this. So we're going to ungroup it, and I'm going to move the string up here to the balloon. I'm going to select them both, and I'm just going to weld those. So they're together now, and you can see that it's all going to cut as one piece. So then I could turn this into a sketch. So I can leave it as it is, or I can make a duplicate, and I can go over here to the right-hand side, and I can choose the sketch features and see what I like. You know, there's all kinds of different things you can do. It is not a one-size-fits-all. So it just depends on the look you're going for. Now that one's going to be a lot of ink that's on your design, but if that's the look you're going for, or you can have a bolder line, you can have the squiggle, or just the basic. So it really just depends on what the look you're going for is when you're doing it. I'm just going to close that one and open another one and we can play around with another design while that's still cutting. So here I did this one the other day and I can show you that too. So I bring that in. Now it's going to sketch it just like you see on the screen. So that it would either cut that way if you put it to select it to cut or it's going to sketch it just like this. But you can also go in here to the sketch panel and you can change how that looks. So not every design is going to be great when you choose a sketch function. It's not going to always work. And you have to play around also with this fill sketch. And you can see if it's going to make any difference. What you can notice here is it gave me a few more lines inside my B. And that's about it. You can also click on here on the advanced tab. And you could change that for the spacing. So then I can increase the spacing and if you notice you can see a little bit of difference on there. So with the sketch feature the basics are the same for everything but each design is going to act a little bit differently in how you do that. So I'm going to go back over here, switch you back to my camera, and my machine is done. So we can see here that the cut lines it gave us just a bold cut sketch line, just like it would cut normally. Or you can see here that we now have a very bold image with our detailed sketch. Really, it's just a matter of what you're looking to do and what your end goal is. It's a fun little thing to play around with. And you can see it can kind of be addicting if you go in here and search on sketch with my library. I've been doing some research for classes and things like that. So you can find all kinds of things like a dragon and a mermaid, some fall sketches and things like that that are right in the Silhouette store that would be very easy to play around with. I'm glad you joined me today for checking out the sketch pens. If you have any questions, just let me know. You can also find me on my website at www.silhouette-secrets.com. Hope you have a great day. Thank you.